We'll be ready. We'll be live really soon. Yeah, bye-bye. What's up, everybody? Hope everybody's had a great evening. Uh, please, no drama. How you doing, um, uh, Emily and uh, the 101 and Nancy? I hope everyone's doing good. Um, So, um, how are you doing, Emily and Nancy? Emily, if you want to come up, or Nancy, you want to come up, let me know, and I will put the link in the uh, down. I mean, in a, um, I will drop the link down. Just let me know if uh, Nancy or Emily, if you want to come up. I'm doing good. Okay, you want to come up? Okay. Um, but um, I'm started cooking bacon and you know finding a way to keep it from like shrinking because bacon uh, accumulates a lot of uh, grease hello hello to get bacon to to not no, shrink I've done bacon it's been shrinking a lot and I found out if you put it in the oven and bake it for like uh, 23 minutes on four, uh, I mean on 375 for 23 minutes uh, you get the ju uh, juice to come out, but it's still not, like, you know, cooked all the way. And throw it on the skillet, and that way it keeps the bacon from, like, shrinking. Did you know if you run it under warm water first and then cook it, that it does the same thing? Yeah, I didn't know, because everybody told me not to use warm water. Everybody's like, you, you don't need to thaw your meat out with that. But I've been doing that for a long time. Never got sick. It's easier. I, I do it that way. I do it, run it under warm water first and then cook it. And it always makes it longer. It, it, it's easier for me to do it that way than to bake it for three minutes. It just seems like such a waste of time. It really does. That's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to start doing that. <laughs> I just uh, wanted to put an oven. I, I noticed it takes a bunch of grease out, too, of it. You know. It does. But then you've got to deal with cleaning up the grease. Yeah, I cleaned. I threw it in. Um, I was, my, well, it's people told me not to, to do this. Skillet. It's easier to clean it out of the skillet than it is to clean it out of an oven pan, in my experience. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what I, I did, I, I soak it in water, and, and I put, like, um, the, uh, the dish um, the soap. I put, like, dish soap. And uh, let it sit in the water, let it kind of uh, sit and soak. And what I do is that my sister-in-law told me, and I know this is the wrong way of doing it, is when your grease is done and you're done, throw it away. She says she uses hot water and lets it go down the drain and dumps her grease in it. Yeah, but if you do that, it goes into the pipes and that ruins your pipes. Because when Hold it goes on, into it's the water, when the grease goes hard, is this you one SP brother? It'll do that. Is this you uh, one SP? I just want to make sure this is him. Why are you shaking my uh, head? No, bro. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's you, man. Ah, uh, come on, one SP. Oh, 
Oh man, you got me off guard, man. You kept asking, was it me? So I'm like, no, it's not. It's not, it's not the real me. I just didn't it's want to get. Uh, I didn't want to get. It's a fake you know, version of me. It's a fake version of me. Yeah, because a lot of people have been like porn bombing people. Oh, uh, they just saying it's me. They they go like this. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> the trolls. No, the trolls be like this. The trolls be like that. She be back up. What's that green in the draw? The trolls go like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they go like this. They go like. <laughs> That's what the trolls do. Oh man, yeah, they do. They're weird. Trolls are. She said, "Had Nightbot financing." Oh, you should greet a Nightbot. <laughs> if Nightbot were real, Nightbot would say hi back. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad Nightbot is not real. Nightbot doesn't say hi. No, Kenneth. How, how's the weather? Um, it's doing. It's nice today. It's um about seventy. I think seventy or eighty. Okay. Something. It was like okay. sixty last night. It was nice. Okay. Nice weather. Nice weather. You're a good person. You're a good person. You deserve nice weather. Yeah, thanks, yeah. buddy. How's the weather? Um, how's the weather going on for you down there in Florida? It's, it's pretty wet. Pretty wet. Been raining a lot. Um, it's 105 in here in uh, California. Oh, well, that sucks. That sucks. California, that sucks. Well, at least marijuana legal. <laughs> You got bad weather, you got legal marijuana, you know? Yeah, it's um, it's been about 120, I think. Here how, you this think number. how you think? How's your engagement going? It's okay, but, uh, you know, it's okay still trying to mm -hmm. wait until she's ready because okay. um, she's on uh, Social Security, and I okay. am because of um, I'm blind in one eye. And she's got white disability, and okay. she has like bipolar. So, so I guess, so I guess you're gonna adopt another pet. Yeah, <laughs> you gonna I adopt, might adopt another, another dog as soon as I could get me a actual house. I mean, if there's a house for sale, if mm -hmm. I could, if God can, you know, bless us with the house, you know, I'm looking forward to it. What color the house? Because it's easier here, you have to pay rent for dogs. So, what color do you prefer in a house? What color? Oh, I like a blue roof and like mm -hmm. blue shingle and white. <laughs> oh, I like the University of Kentucky colors. Yeah, I think it's, I like it. Where my brother lived, it was red. He had the cardinal side, and I had to, uh, my house was the Kentucky side. And up the street from us, just next door from Billy, it was green. So it was like the Ohio Cup. Oh. oh. So it was nice. Go Wildcats, right? Yeah, go Wildcats. I try not to go live much because I've been trying to get people to come over. And, and I've been having a lot of people, you know, like, you know, pretending. Like uh, one person that... Mm -hmm. Um, he said it wasn't him. Noel said that wasn't him. Somebody's been uh, uh, using Noel. Yeah, Noel said he's not a troll. Yeah. Noel said he's not a troll. And he almost committed suicide. Luckily, we gave him the suicide hotline. But, yeah, he almost committed suicide because Ian kept calling him a troll. And uh, he, he needs to... Not let them get to them, and I mean, there's no way YouTube's not going to do anything. I mean, you're wasting your time. YouTube's not going to get rid of them. I think YouTube does it to get people mad. Yeah, I but be wrong. if you if you talk to Google, Google, not YouTube. Yeah. But if you talk to Google, they'll get rid of them. Hold on. All right.
Yeah, Nancy, that's what I'm doing, trying to get rid of a, a bunch of them from, like, coming to my channel. Okay. I mean, I don't ask for it. I mean, I don't know why they come, but they like to pick on certain people. Some people they know not to mess with. But I'm glad, you know, I'm glad I get you, Nancy, but um, I'm going to finally let, and I'm going to let YouTube have eventually about these YouTube uh, like, trolls because I really don't like drama. Drama is for, like, people that want to be on a soap pop. I mean, if you want to take place on Days of Our Lives, that's the best place to go for drama. Okay. But nobody, I don't understand it. Why don't people like drum on YouTube, but they like it on the, uh, you know, like soap opera? I, I don't watch soap opera, so uh, you're you're telling you you're barking up the wrong tree. I don't like soap operas. But I've what never I do done like, good. <laughs> what I do that, what I do like that has drama in it is, um, mascot channel. You know, mascot is a. <laughs> He has a new channel out now. You know Matt that, right? Yeah. A troll channel? A real channel. What the? Oh. Mascot got a real channel. He would like it if you come in, you know, on his panel. Oh, a real channel. Yeah, oh. yeah. He, he does podcasts now. What's the name does he go by now? Joy Us. Join Us? No, Joy Us. Joyous. Oh, okay. Yeah, like joyous, but without the joyous. extra O. J Y U S. J Y U S. Oh, joyous. Okay. Like yeah, happy, yes. You know, joyous is spelled J Y O U S. He took out the second O and just put J Y O U S. J Y U S. So he's trying to get, he wants to get his channel a lot better too than. Yeah, he he's a great content creator. He he he's doing a podcast now, and you could go on the podcast and stuff, and you could talk about your life and how you feel about you know Biden, how he sucks, you know, as a president, how he should just get out of office and retire and stuff. Like you could talk about all that on his podcast. Oh man, that's yeah, crazy. yeah. Has his but if you or... like Biden, you could talk about how much you like Biden and how you don't mind him going to sleep or saying home huh, when he's like in public, you know, and stuff like that. When he's giving speeches, he say huh and um a lot. So you could talk about how you enjoy him Thank doing it. Thank you for that. coming, uh, Nancy Gomez. I know. Go ahead, I, I know. I know Kentucky is Biden country, so you know. You know, yeah, you know. I'm just ready for a new. I hope they start getting a new uh, governor. I mean, we had this governor for ages. I mean, damn, it's like twenty some years we had him. It's time to get a new one because he's the one keeping us from getting money. Still, uh, you know, the stimulus check. He's not only stopping you from getting money; he's stopping tourism from going to Kentucky. Yeah, he's yeah. ruined Kentucky. He's really putting Kentucky down. The the Derby is the only thing that keeps people going there. But you know, if if you get rid of him, you could open back up Kentucky Kingdom. You know, regularly. You know, mm -hmm. you could open. Y'all used to have a Six Flags that was there. You know, yeah, you could open all that stuff back up if you get rid of him. I want him out. I wish that. I wish he would just give up because he's old, just give up and retire. Oh, but Biden make people that's old, you know, stay in. You know, they look at Biden, they be like, if he could do it, I could do it. You know, but Biden sucks. He's like a crutch for Kentucky. I don't like, you know, you should go mascot channel, man. Talk about, you know, how you feel about politics and stuff like that. Yeah. Because Joy U.S., it's about the joy in the United States, you know, us as a whole. It's about us coming together and actually talk about what makes us happy as a nation, you know, and stuff like that. And and I'm, I'm going to be honest. Our commander in chief is, is really falling by the wayside, you know, and stuff like that.
Yeah, it's... you know, he should have ran right after Obama, you know, got out of office and stuff. He should have ran, you know, and and against Hillary and stuff when when Obama was up there. But he didn't do it then. He didn't do it. You know, he should have ran against, you know, if he would defeat Hillary and and had to go against Trump, like, and, you know, when Trump had to run the first time, you know, and stuff like that, he would have been young enough. But now, you know, it's like they're doing like one of those, um, do you remember Woodrow, Woodrow Wilson? Do you remember him? Yeah. Woodrow Wilson was a president that was like, so mentally incapacitated to hold his office that his wife ran most of his presidential term. Can you believe that? His wife did it. And all he did was take pictures. You know, he did a picture op with his wife, you know, and stuff like that. Like when when something had to be signed, she signed it for him, you know, and stuff like that. She signed a lot of stuff for him. So... You know, and I think that's what Dr. Biden is doing for the president. Dr. Joe Biden is signing off on a lot of stuff because Joe Biden can't sign right now. You know, he's he's mm -hmm. not up there. He's not up there. You know, it, it hurts me, you know, that, that we could run a nation where our president, our commander in chief is not, you know, mentally up there, you know, but it is what it is. Yeah, it's just, it's a shame, and it's a shame, and I don't understand why so many Kentuckians are not using their, you know, head to uh, help us. I mean, you know, because the state is really the state need tourism. needed, huh? The state needs tourism, and it needs a lot of, um, and not only does it need tourism. But it needs a lot of, um, what you call it? It needs to, you know, stimulate the enterprise, you know, the entrepreneur spirit some kind of way. You know, you've never heard of anybody inventing anything that comes from Kentucky. Never. You know, so nice. you know, it need, it, we need to bring, except for, except for the guy that was the founder of Papa John's, you know, he brought you know, the headquarters to Kentucky and and stuff like that. Now that, I can honestly say, is a good thing. But he wasn't even living in Kentucky. He was living in, in what was it, Johnsonville. He, uh, no, no, not Jeffersonville. He was living in Jeffersonville. So, you know, Jeffersonville is in Indiana across the, you know, water, across the river. So, you know, it, it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff that we need to bring yeah. out of the Kentucky. We need to bring out that entrepreneurship, um, the entrepreneur spirit. And if we can bring out the entrepreneur spirit in Kentucky, then we need to, you know, give an incentive. You know what they call that? They call that reinforcement. Give some reinforcement for them actually, like, you know, excelling, you know, in times when other states couldn't now. Uh, but it's hard to do it in Kentucky because the government there, they don't like entrepreneurs. They don't like tourism. Like what? <laughs> like what? <laughs> you can't get no money if you don't got no tourism. You got to bring people in to spend money. You know, and you got to have businesses for them to spend money at. You know, if you don't got no businesses for them to spend money when the tourists come, then how are you going to make money? How you gonna make money? And if you got businesses where people can spend money, then you'll have jobs in Kentucky. And if you That's have true. jobs in Kentucky, then you got more money coming into Kentucky because you got more people working. So it, 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 it's it, 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 it's a ball game that that we need to get a lot of old people out of these seats and put you know fresh young people in these seats. Once we put fresh young people in these seats in in Kentucky. In Florida, in Georgia, well, I think Georgia doing it now. But in Alabama, Louisiana, you know, all these southern states, we need to do that, you know. And the more we do that, the more tourism we get. Kentucky has the Corvette Museum there, you know, amazing place. 
But nobody don't know that it's a Corvette museum now. Nobody don't know that. You no. know? Yeah, Kentucky has Kentucky has um uh, you of course you know about the Derby, but Kentucky also has um the, the birthplace of you know Abraham Lincoln, although that's a ran down neighborhood, they still got the little shack where he stayed in as a child. The shack. He stayed in a little shack. It's still there. You know, and the burial site yeah. of his dad is still there. The burial site of his dad is still there. So it, it, it's a lot. It's a lot of things that Kentucky has that that other states don't have. But you know, that should not just be the selling point of bringing tourists in there. You know, it should be more things going on bringing tourists in there. Like I said, you had um, um Kentucky Kingdom uh, amusement park. You had Six Flags amusement park that was up and up regularly. And we need to, you know, I, I believe Kentucky need to work back to bringing up them theme parks back open. Once you open those, then you'll have tourism there and set up like set up like some some brand new hotels over there, you know, and stuff like that to make to make room for the tourists that come there. You know, a lot of these hotels in Kentucky are ran down. They ran down. Mm. You know, yeah, they are. And, you know, people go to hotels all the time in Kentucky. And, you know what 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 they got there? They got like what a Kono a Kono Lodge is everywhere in Kentucky. Motel Six is everywhere in Kentucky. Super Eight is everywhere in Kentucky. Those are like the the biggest chains in Kentucky. We need to bring Hiltons and Courtyards and Marriotts you know, to Kentucky, you know, you know, all over Kentucky to, to, you know, prepare for tourism to come into Kentucky. Yeah. You know, and once we open these theme parks, we don't got no, you know, resorts open. We only got motels open for them. And when you do have, when you do have one or two big hotels, most of the time, the people say that it's no vacancy. When, when there is vacancy, so you turn mm -hmm. you turn away tourists and all of that, and then plus they got like a what a Amazon in Shepherdsville, and then they got another one in Louisville now. They got an Amazon in Shepherdsville and another one in Louisville. But look at the homes that's around that Amazon. You know you don't got you know homes for those workers. You know and stuff like that. Like you said, all they got is rental properties for those workers. They don't have homes for them. And they need homes for them. Homes for you. They yep. need homes for you. I lived in Kentucky. I lived in Kentucky. I lived in Radcliffe, you know, for, for five years of my life. And I've seen the hardships that all Kentuckians go through. I've seen those hardships where they can't find jobs, where the farmers, you know, not getting a lot of people, you know, buying their produce and all of that. I've seen it. With my own eyes. Tractors rusting out and all of that stuff. I seen all of that. People who got warm milling and they got and they got plum trees and, and all of them amazing things. They got peas and and carrots and potatoes. People selling that out there. You know, you know, they selling that out there and stuff like that. All of those fields out there. In Kentucky, people trying to make my corn. They even got corn out there. People trying to make money out there, but they cannot do it because there is no tourism coming inside. I don't know how Harlan Sanders, I don't know how uh, Colonel Sanders did it with chicken at gas station to gas station. I don't know how he did it, but he made a way when there was a lot of tourism in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. People just went through Kentucky. This when the express. This when uh, this when um, this when they first had that um, build to that the build to um, make um, infrastructures, you know, highways and expressways and stuff like this. This when that bill was first passed. Colonel Sanders was on it. He was right on top of that. He was like, "Oh, people coming through. Oh, let's do this gas station. Let's do that gas station." And that's probably the only way you could build a business by working at gas stations, you know, and stuff like that. That's probably the only way you could, if you could get your produce at gas stations, like you said, they got on um, what, 
what what you said they one of one of the great ones is um five star if you could get your product in five star that's 24 hours of selling without you having to be there yep you go to bp in kentucky bp lights out go out at 10. you ain't gonna be selling the past 10 o'clock bp lights go out at 10 now you know what what what's the other ones there? I don't, I don't know. I don't forgot what 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 all all the other gas stations they got there. I don't forgot all of them. They, I think it it was a, it was one with a red and white you know logo. I forgot what it was. I forgot what that was. A red and white logo. I forgot what that one was. Oh, they had on um, Speedway Speedway open. You know and stuff like that. You could get your product in Speedway. Then you good. Yeah, uh, these places I'm just naming. They they even got a gas station at they WalMarts, Sam's Club. Yeah, Kentucky is a lovely place, man. A beautiful place. Some of the best rivers I ever seen is going to Nelson County. Once you go to Nelson County, oh man, they rivers are amazing, man. I love Nelson County. The whole Bartstown thing, I love it there. Uh, what what's the what's the city down there by E Town? All the way down there by E Town, Cecilia. I love Cecilia too. I love Brandenburg. I love Brandenburg too. See, I'm naming all the places that nobody don't even go. I love these areas. I love these areas. Cecilia, they got a lot of they got a lot of land out there. Cecilia. And Brandenburg, they got a lot of land out there. Uh, but it's another place all the way back where you don't get no phone reception called Big Springs. Big Springs is country as ever, but they got a lot of land out there. All you got to do is put a double wide out there, and you good. You good. You got you got like a whole acre to yourself with a double wide on it. You good. That's a lot of grass cutting, though. That's a lot of grass cutting. But you could you could turn into like you know you know farmland like most people out there in um big springs they turn into farmland. So yeah, it's don't you want us to have them, bro? Yes, K-pop, K-pop in in the building, K-pop in the building. Oh, they're gonna pull through, <laughs> pull through, pull through in the building. You can cut my grass. You love, do you love Baton Rouge? I ain't been to Baton Rouge one time. You know, I What's mean, up, Jacob? Out of, What's up, out, bro? Of all, out of all places in Louisiana, I think I love, um, what is it, Lake Charles? I love Lake Charles, Port Sulphur. I love it. I love like the 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 bayou areas, like with the the southern, like real real south areas of like Louisiana. I love those places. Gonzalez, I love Gonzalez, Louisiana. I love I love all those places. You know the the ones all the way down by the levee. I love those places. I'm not really like I'm not really I don't really go to the I only been to the capital once. You know I've been there once, but I love those areas down there. Um, I I I've been a I've been to Leesville a few times. Uh, I like Leesville. Um, yeah, that's it. I like I like yeah Lake Charles and and Port Sulphur and in those areas. I'm doing so good, like, bro. How you doing, Jacob? Remember Jacob? Um, when oh, I was probably playing. okay. Huh? Yeah. Remember Jacob? Um, I remember him as Jaybird. That's Jaybird. Yeah, Jaybird. Yep. That the truck driver, right? Yeah. Nice kitchen, uh, too, brother. Yeah, I remember Jay Bird. He, he's a great guy. You remember Jay Bird? Um, 
Yeah, I remember Jay Bird. You remember Mascot? Yeah. You remember, uh, let me see. What? Lady C? Yeah. Yeah, Lady C. Yeah, she ain't she. I, I always see her in Vanessa live streams. I don't see her everywhere else like she used to be. Hold on, brother. I'm gonna make um, I'm gonna make um, um, Jacob and Mal fast, and I'll be right back. I'm gonna do. Yeah, modern. He need to be modded. Modern. Noel got blocked again. Jacob, he's already a mod. Thank you, bro. Thanks, brother. Kenneth, man, you you got a lot on your plate, man. I know, bro. I have, I have it's just too many people. They just like coming in, bothering me. I mean, I always thought it was like the superstars of YouTube, like the million subscribers, but it's like they're targeting me and. <laughs> You know, I got trolled, Kenneth. What, brother? I got trolled. You got trolled? Yep. How do you oh. keep them? Do you, like, uh, block them a lot out of your channel? Well, you block most of the people, but I got I got trolled. Like, somebody sent uh, me. I'm oh, sorry, bro. K-Pop, I didn't know, bro. I'll try to hide them. Sorry about that. I, okay, y'all just. Sorry about that, brother. Yeah, somebody sent, somebody sent me a, 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 a an order of two crazy breads, um, three hot and ready um, cheeses, one stuffed crust, and one stuffed crust um, pepperoni. And two, I think they had meat lovers. All of this from Little Caesars. Little Caesars delivered it. They sent it to my house. And I guess they forgot not to pay for it because they paid for it. So They I paid just, for the pizza? <laughs> yeah. They, they what the heck? They, they didn't pay my pizza, shoot. <laughs> they paid for it. They forgot not to pay for it. Ah, <laughs> like, oh, what'd you do? They Did tried to troll me, the and they wound up paying for it. I was like, they was like, oh, yeah, it's already paid for I'm like, okay, thank you. Man. I, but I did leave a tip. You know, I left a tip of like $5. So, but yeah, they paid for it, man. I was like, oh, they paid for it. Okay. I'll tell you, man. Like, sure. they, they, I mean, they sent it to 1SP. They had the right address and everything. So, yeah, I was like, <laughs> I was like, okay, thank, thank you for that. Yeah, they trolled me, man. They trolled me, but they paid for everything. So I don't know to be mad or be okay with it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, would, I, I get would you be mad that... if somebody like sent you the, all that stuff? Yeah. You'd be mad even if they paid for it? I mean, if, uh, if they send me all that pizza, I'm not paying for it. I'm going to make the... No, I said if I they pay for it, would you still be mad? Because, like, everybody told me I should be mad because even if they did pay for it, they still troll me. But they don't know where I live now, you know. And if they do, all I have to do is just uh, tell the pizza place and say, don't you... Delivered till I give you work to deliver to my house. So, am I supposed to be upset, Kenneth? I'm asking you. I mean, yeah, if they're sending you pizza, but if it's paid for, I mean, the joke's on them. So, I'm not supposed to be mad if they did pay for it? No. If you like the pizza. Uh, I don't eat pork, but I know. I know my kids. I mean, they're helping feed you, you know what I'm saying? They I, have I, know, I know my kids and my neighbors ate, ate the, the ones with the pork on it. 
and stuff. And I ate the crazy bread with my kids. My neighbors enjoyed it. So I know my neighbors didn't send it because they ate some of it with me. So they 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 took um two large pieces with them. So <laughs> Dang. I mean that's just they 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 I don't know why would they do that. And then people be sending like you know, women be sending like underwear to my to my P.O. box and stuff like that. Women be sending underwear to my P.O. box. Man, just think about all the pizzas paid for. You can have that in your freezer for the whole freaking month. Well, I don't eat pizza like that anyway, so but my kids do. My kids eat pizza like a lot. So it won't be uh, it, it got eaten up within those three days. It got eaten up within three days. You don't need to know nobody's P.O. box number. Just your own. <laughs> yeah, Kenneth. Kenneth. Kenneth know my P.O. box number. Yeah. I don't have a P.O. box and I'm never going to have one. Not for yeah. no P.O.s. Or yeah, P.U.s women either. Women be seeing, you know, stuff like that. Underwears. Too. Ain't need for stuff. I don't want no underwears in my P.O. box. I need underwears in my what 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 do I need underwears in my P.O. box for? I design my I design clothes anyway, you know. Like you look at you look at my merch store already. I could design underwear. Now if you send like one SP underwear, you know, so you send them back because it didn't come out the way you want it, then yeah, I can understand that. You could send that to my P.O. box. But just send underwears just to send underwears, nah, don't be doing that. You know, you know. I got it, I got underwear merch. Yeah, I got I got women underwear merch and men briefs merch. You know, I got men's briefs merch. I got underwear merch, but you know, it's not like lingerie. It's you know actual like underwear merch. So you know, I was thinking about doing bathing suits. You know, and you know and stuff like that. But you know, you gotta take time and you know like do all of that right, you know, and stuff like that. But I do got shirts, you know, as you can see, I'm wearing a shirt right now. I do got shirts on my merch. I, I got a lot of shoes. You see my sh What the heck happened? He'll be back. Everybody just, you know, keep on timing them out. All right, brother. Thank you, man. Thank you so much, Jacob, bro. Yeah, it is, brother. Uh, thank you, Jacob. Yes, it is, K-Pop. Uh, pretty soon, Debra, you know what time it is, almost. Yeah. It's 5.25. Oh, okay. Man, time's flying. <laughs> yeah, but I think you'll be back. I think what happened, I think you dropped out. Thank you, Lewis. Appreciate that, bro, Lewis. Thank you for the uh, likes, bro, and the love and the uh, 
thumbs up. I'm just uh, taking it easy right now. I, I love you too, Deborah. You know what? I'm not giving any of you people recognition. I'm not saying anything. You do not bother me. It doesn't affect me one bit. You can keep doing what you're doing. It doesn't bother me one bit. I don't give a, you know, I just, I don't, you know, care. So you're wasting your time and your efforts. All you're doing is just showing just how you are. So it doesn't bother me because I'm having a bunch of weirdos. But thank you for the views. Yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate your views. Yep, it shows just how intelligent dumbasses are out there in this world. <laughs> A bunch of dumbasses. You think for God. You know what? You trolls can't get to nobody. The only reason people give up and they hurt themselves because, A, they need, you know, they give in to you because they need to learn to quit pressure, stop pressure. Because no matter how you come, I don't care how you come, you're going to exit. And for people that let trolls get to them, remember, they're just people. They're just the person on the other side of the uh, computer. They're lazy. They're losers. They have no um, life. They have no home. Their mom and daddy hates them. Their brother's uh, sister hates them. You know, I'm surprised that the mothers just shove y'all back up. You know, their mom, y'all's mom, needs to shove y'all right back in the hole. It doesn't bother me one bit because YouTube can't say nothing to me because I this is my channel. And yeah, you give me a lot of views. I really appreciate that. I'm so happy to have a bunch of dumbasses in my channel. And I want to know what grade each of y'all um, completed. Did y'all get through middle school? Or were you lucky enough to get through preschool? Oh, I hate my life. Oh, I love my life. I love having a bunch of you assholes on here. All you dumb asses trolls. For you dumb trolls. You got a special uh, part of my heart. And also, every time I get done eating something, I'm going to especially think about you when I use the toilet paper. You don't affect me one bit. Now, I know you never heard of them because you never got through high, uh, preschool. I don't know what's going on, Nani. It doesn't bother me one bit. These people give me views. Thank you for giving me views. I really appreciate it. Oh, man, I'm so happy you give me views. It just it touches my heart. Thank you, really. Knowing there's a bunch of crackheads on YouTube that give people views. I really thank you. I really appreciate it. Much love. You know, sooner or later, they get tired because they're not getting underneath my skin, so... Really, I don't care what you say. Because, like they say, a bunch of dumbasses are intelligent. Yes, we are. Thank you, Jacob.
Yeah, thank you for your rock. And you don't know how dumbasses you are. You don't know how uneducated you are. You don't. I bet you don't even know who your mom and daddy are. I don't have to watch out, Mikey. Where are you from, Mike? Are you from your daddy's butthole? Are you called Smell My Butthole Daddy? Yeah, I'm surprised you know how to spell. Oh, I'm so happy. Y'all do, do know how to spell. I give you effort for spelling. I'm not in hiding, brother. I'm not touching it, brother. I'm not uh, unhappy nobody. You know, we can play ball just as well as you can, Troves. Now you're a bunch of dumb idiots. That's the reason every time I have a bad day, I think of getting a punching bag and just thinking of each and every one of you. Yeah. That's definitely what I'm going to start doing. I will, brother. I will, Jacob. But uh, how are you doing, Jacob, bro? And how you doing, Mom? And uh, brother, uh, how you doing, um, K-pop? Yeah, pretty soon we'll be getting... Me and Dave or something. So, um, but just to let everybody know um, where I'm at, it's a nice day. It's There's no cloud in the sky or nothing. But I'm glad you're doing good, brother. If you go live tonight, Jacob, I'll be over there. Or, Mom, if you go live, I'll be there. And so, um, Just so happy today, you know, just turned out to be a, you know, a really great day for me. So it just, man. So, um, what is everyone going to do today? Or tonight. But, yeah, I'm just, um, me personally, I'm just gonna take it easy and just relax. Oh, you're going to make a steak? Okay, Jacob. I love steaks. Like baked potato with them? Yeah, baby. I, I will. I will. I'll tell them. I know I'll tell her. Oh, man. All right, baby. Um, but, Jacob, I like steak, and I, I like mushroom to fix with it. I don't know, baby. Yeah, neighbor. All right. All right, baby. <laughs> I love you too, Mom.
I will, Deborah. Um, I will. It's only it's only five thirty six right right now, so. But um, yeah, I will. But I wanted to come out for a little, you know, a little bit, you know, and um, see everybody's doing, and just haven't been live for a while, so I just actually thought I'd come on to um to go live too, and kind of missed, you know, going on YouTube. So just um. I'm happy to have your mom here, Jacob, um, K Pup. Lewis. And um, I really appreciate it. And also for coming over, I especially thank you uh, so much. Coming in, Nancy and Emily. So much love to all of you. I really appreciate that. And you're awesome. And Yeah, we love you too, brother Jacob. Um, and so I'm getting ready to like go off right now of fear. So much love to you, Jacob, and uh, mom, and um, much love to you too, uh, K Pup. If I said mom, much love to you too, mom. And um and also thank you also for coming, Lewis. Much love to you, Lewis and Nancy and Emily. So um I will try to come back maybe tomorrow, but um much love to you all and I hope you all have a great night.